Hi guys, so this reading is a little bit, almost like a, it's almost late, okay? And it's reading on, on Ashley Kavanaugh. That's Kavanaugh's wife, if I have her name right. And I wanted to do this reading because I was checking out one of the websites I, I talk about from time to time. It's called bodylanguageforsuccess.com or something. And he does a lot of, it's a he and he's a doctor who ended up special, specializing in this as well. And he has all this very scientific connect, like he, he understands all this anatomy and muscles and all. So it's really interesting. He looks at how people move and what their obviously body language is saying. So he analyzed her body language in the various events that she participated recently. One was of which was that confirmation where, or the first one, the, the, where he had to swear, I think, I don't know, was it on, yeah, put his hand on the, the book, and then the other one, I think, I don't know if he included that one too, I don't remember, but it was, I was startled by, this is me having the, the, the reason why I ended up doing, wanting to do a reading on this. I saw an image of him, it was like as if he was outside, he was greeting people that he seemed to not know, and there was him and his kids and the wife. So he was sort of like, Putting, pushing her away with his hand. It was very weird. It was clear that he he just didn't care about her or he the way he pushed her around it was as if he didn't really see her as a person. He was just she's just a decoration. He's like, you know, fake pseudo fifties family, whatever. And the other thing I saw was that the kids were very sad and the girl, the older one, looked very I'm not saying the kids, you know, oh I'm so excited to be here. But there was a sense that she was kind of like, she was angry at him. She wasn't happy to be there. I, I'm not saying, like I said, they have to be happy. But there's just something there, okay, that seemed to confirm or ideas, of, you know, that we discussed before. So, so I'm going to list the questions I'm going to ha I have here. So, what was she feeling in these public confirmation events? Why, why was she feeling so uncomfortable? What does she think of this whole thing? him being confirmed what were his daughters thinking what is the state of marriage after all the info that came out right and then what is marriage that what does marriage look like in a year because i had seen i had an audio reading on them as a as, as you know their marriage and it looks like there was in nine months i remember seeing that his downfall begins okay for real like he's may have lose his job or whatever, right? And then, and then, um, in two years they may be divorced. So I like to know. I'm just kind of intrigued by this because she looks, she's kind of like at, she's mentally she's somewhere else. She's sitting there like she's not. You know what I mean? I think obviously I don't think I'm the only one who believes this, but you look at her and she clearly her mind is somewhere else. She's not present. Okay, she's not engaged. She's just. Kind of like that, so. So let's see, I'm gonna use cars, guys, just because I, yeah, it's it's sad, okay? I'm kind of sad, it's sad, right? It's sad, it, it looks very sad for, she looks sad to me. But anyway, so I'm gonna stop here and start the cards, okay? Guys, okay, so this question is, is about, again, Ashley, so I'm gonna ask the first question, which is, what was she feeling in these public confirmation events? Because she looks so uncomfortable, okay? So there she was, and she looked so uncomfortable, she didn't want to be there. And he treated her kind of, to my understanding, just looking at her, it looked very uncomfortable. Okay, so. So, yeah, so it looked, I don't know, terrible. So let's see. So Ashley Kavanaugh. What was she feeling? What was going through her mind in these confirmation events? So that's this is the I think this it's funny it's come up as as Kavanaugh before okay so this is a man this is grief and adversity wow look guys oh my god so this is him okay grief and adversity theft so something like lies or in there so 
as he was being confirmed, she was thinking the whole thing was a lie. Girl, you know it. <laughs> she knows. Look, interesting. Look at that. That would be him, right? So that's this is this and these are kind of connected. This could also mean, guys, that this is the, could be the donor because you see this guy has money on the table and has a note. So I wonder if she knows that there's money there and that the whole thing is a sham. Now this is the literato that would be the lawyer. Now it's upside down. So you see like there's something shady here about him. She knows because she's sorrowful. I, Gran Signore. Now that's, that to me means donor, okay. Oh, not this one, sorry. This, oh my God. <gasps> wow, disgrazia. Wow. This is the worst card, guys, and upside down is even worse. So she knows, okay, that there is an issue here. There is an illegal issue here, okay, and she feels grief and the because she knows the whole thing is, is, is false, and there's disgrace is going to come. So like I said, now, Gran Signore would be the donor, okay, the whole thing seems to, this is, this is Kevin. This is someone else. Okay, so the whole thing seems to be orchestrated, and she's like, she knows what's going to happen. She knows what's coming. What's coming is really bad. Okay, according to the cards here. So this is quite interesting. Okay, all right. So that was the question. What was she feeling in these public confirmation events? Okay, then why was she feeling so? Why oh, I can't even read. Uncomfortable, that's right. Uncomfortable. Why was she feeling so uncomfortable there? A letter, okay. Oh, a woman, maybe. I wonder if, okay. Together, okay. Meeting. So, I kind of wonder, guys, if she, this is the information about the women, you know, the meetings, obviously, all of that. She was ashamed that she had to be there knowing that they knew all of this. Okay, oh wow, ending. Interruption, fear, anguish. So, why was she feeling so uncomfortable? So, Longi, she wanted to end. Wow. Wow. Love. Wow, wow, wow. So, you see, guys, she wanted, the letter was the end. This is, I feel like she, it, it would suggest here, okay, that the inf once that information came out, she, in the way she felt like, this is it for me, I'm done. So that's next step for her. Okay, so and this is it, with civil cards, especially. I, oh my god, whatever. I'm like, okay, okay. Let's see here. So with civil cards, what you ha what ends up happening is that, and this is also Kipper, but I actually no, I'm sorry, I'm I'm, conf I'm mixing it up. Sibylla is not as important, but Kipper is. But I'm using something that I usually use. With, you are supposed to look at with. Kipper, which is that you have to look at where the direction the person is looking, and the person is looking at an ending. She's looking. She really is longing. So Speedy is so long for something. Oh, it's kind of oh, sigh. Okay, she's longing for an ending to love. She wants to love. She wants to leave the marriage. I think, and the information related to women. This is in the meetings, right? This is like look at this card. It's some, there's a suggestion of something sexual here, right? This is you see the love with the. It's like. This would su suggest to me that once that information was out, she feels like I wanted to end. It's over. This is a perfect, in a way for her, it was like, well, this is a perfect excuse. I, I don't want to be seen. She's ashamed. She's embarrassed that all of this came out and she looks like an idiot from her perspective, okay? I don't think she looks like an idiot, but that's how she sees it, okay? All right, so, so then the next question is, so this is interesting, guys. They're saying that she, right? She knows that she knows everything. She knows the full story, all the shadiness. She knows that, yeah, yeah she knows everything. So then the next thing is, what were? Why was it he, his daughter is uncomfortable? In other words, what is their relationship like? I mean, they were not. I just, it's not just because they didn't like to, didn't want to be there. There's just something like I feel like, I don't know, guys. There's something here. Now, I don't want to say, I don't know, guys, okay, I'm not suggesting, I, I wouldn't say something like that, but this is, see, it's, this is short illness, money, and the White House, okay, or the house. So, 
this also suggests that there's a sense that he could be sick or this you know there's a, like i said there's a hint of something i don't think it's sexual i don't want to make the suggestion it's too strong but i feel like they sense that there's there were financial problems at home this is, could also be that there's like that also means someone who they, they couldn't it's like a hangman you, you there's nothing you can do about something so there were problems financial problems but i don't know if the kids would be aware of so much okay so domestic or that's a helper Oh, see, ladro, upside down. So there's something shady here about the money and meetings. Okay, conversations at home. Conversations at home. Shady money. Helper. With this. It's almost as I wonder, you know, what the cards suggest. And I don't I know. Bless the girls. They have nothing to do with this, okay? But it suggests that the girl, the older one, may have overheard something about finances, okay? So the, he was in a bind. He was he was sick, but I don't think it's sick as in sickness, but sick as in having a problem. And he so he got helpers, shady helpers, and then there were conversations at home, and there was all this money, money that's shady. So she knows something more, the daughter, okay, about something connected to money and her dad. Here, okay, she knows the truth, the full story, okay. So what is, I'm just curious guys, what is the relationship like with the dad? Okay, so. This is interesting, yeah, I feel like there is some cheating here, okay? This is soon, something soon expecting, fatal tal, lack of loyalty, and this piacere, so there's news of something unpleasant here. Oh, state of marriage, this is an interesting card, right? This is... It just talks about the state of marriage. So, like I said, I feel like they know big luck comes. Interesting. Wow. It's, guys, I'm sorry. It's sad just to read this. I feel bad for them. I feel it because this is the card of state of marriage soon. So, there's a, an update of the relationship, right? It's like, what is the state of the relationship? And this is big luck. A lot of money or... And what does it mean? This is on top of lack of loyalty. So... This, the marriage itself, it's almost as if the marriage is, it's like there's money involved here that shows that money is more important to him than, than the marriage itself because he, he, he's, he's, he lacks loyalty. And this is this piacere. So when the person look, the person received the, the letter or news, and then the person starts crying. So if you look at it this way, right, it suggests that betrayal when something very unpleasant became known. So you see what I'm saying? So I feel like the girl would most likely be on her mother's side, which seems normal, especially in a situation like this. So she knows the reality here. So she's very upset at her dad for all of this. So this is interesting, okay? Okay, so the next, what is it here? So what, yeah, what is now, it, What it, I feel like I already know the answer, but since I wrote it down, let me ask. What is the state of marriage after all the information that came out, you know, the as a result of the confirmations, you know, the Dr. Ford or whatever, all of that. The, this is like, uh, Worry, okay, dark thoughts. This is the military, that would be order also. And this is good, uh, this is a good luck in love or success in love, okay? So, worry about police in terms of the marriage. Well, let's see, let's see more what it said. Oh, look, mistake. Yeah, this is bad setbacks. Mob mentality, false sense of ability. So, wow, guys, hidden attacks. This is very serious, actually. Weird, okay. Money again, yeah. So, guys, okay, this is... Can I tell you also what this suggests? This is sad, okay. So, I kind of feel like, and I don't know how, God bless her, you know, I feel, I really feel bad for her. Okay, I'm telling you what I see here, okay. 
I kind of feel like she know hey, she knows about everything that happened in terms of finances. I kind of feel like this card upside down means hidden attacks. It sometimes means violence. Okay, so I kind of wonder if she goes to she may go to to the police or she has gone in the past to the police. And this is your worry about mistakes. Okay, this is like a mistakes and hidden attacks and then the, the money that was given. And it, it may mean, because like I said here, this is law enforcement. Could also be rules, but I think it is, see, two military cards is interesting, right? Alone. Then you have one upside down. I think in a way, to me, it would mean some sort of like, he's a very controlling and may have beat her up or something. But then they're trying to like, she may be trying to like, organize something so that she gets money in the end. But there's like, it's a mistake. The whole thing is a mistake. I think she feels that the whole thing is a mistake, and there may be even police involved in this police reports related to attacks. I think, like I said, this it, there's no cards of, of women here, okay? But for some reason, I feel like either she knows of everything related to the foreign power, and they may be considering, or she may be considering how to, you know, split, like how to separate the finances, or it could be something related to violence. So now since this, these cards are very serious and they came up, let's see what is the state of marriage from the perspective of Ashley? How does she see the marriage? This is the wife. This is lack of focus. Or, you know, it could be... Uh, see, that I think of this, this image to me is like a person who is going from, from flower to flower, you know what I mean? Like cheating and this is travel so that I kind of wonder if she has cheated a change to the man worry she's okay and his ideas ideas about marriage ideas about women too okay so he's not serious okay and then this is if she sees a connection to something foreign here okay it could also mean that in some ways yajo means movement so the movement is halt halted and it's not going anywhere, like the marriage is not going anywhere. And there's change here. And she's thinking about the marriage. She's thinking about the whole thing. Okay. Now, how does he see the marriage? You know, I kind of don't like, I hate when <laughs> there's, it means nothing, you know. Anyway, so. Weird, yeah, because you have. Yeah. So the, the casa means obviously it mean it could mean the White House, but it, if a, in this case I think the casa also means family or home. Okay, so upside down, I feel like the stuff this the vega senora means the past. Okay, and also he, he's old fashioned, so that that's that too. But I think essentially it shows that the there's problems at home right now because of stuff related to the past, and they're trying to move. He's trying to move on from from this okay he's trying to move on from the situation okay from the past and I don't know that he has been able to move on from the past you know what I mean the past is haunting him this is court right that's right court a long way back that's right the stuff about this is these two cards suggest past yeah and this is private so um, he understands that the stuff that came out in the process of court may have created an ending to himself. And there's, there's currently family problems because of that. All right, so then the next question is, where will the marriage be in one year? Yeah, so guys, okay, so this is Mueller, okay? Um, this is a good, I don't think it's him because it's a good man. So this is, again, like I said, this is receiving gifts. Remember how I said there's all this financial, like receiving money and stuff. And this is prison. Oh, really? Come on, going to prison? 
Now, this is interesting because this is bank accounts, okay? It's not just cash, it's bank accounts. So you can see that Mueller found these bank accounts or some sort of deposit. This is a banking transactions, okay? And that a lot of the fortune that he made or whatever money he may have been made is connected to these gifts that are illegal here. And I also wanted to show you, this is a super interesting card to come up for him. Because this is a card of happiness, but you see they're drunk. Okay, this is the guy. This is also a card related to addiction and partying. So, so you see what I mean? I kind of wonder, you know, it makes me wonder if he's going to be arrested. I have alcoholic problem, try to do some crime, go to prison. But anyway, so it just suggests that there's the issues here. Are, there's financial problems. Okay, there's shady money here. And the good fortune is also, like, the he, the good fortune is connected to, like I said, you know, getting shady money, and then he there he clearly has some sort of alcoholism problem. And this also suggests a group of people, okay, so so that he's connected to the people who drink, like it could be, drink, you know, and, 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 and sort of like, um, ab not abstract, um, figure it figuratively speaking, they're drunk with their Kool-Aid, drunk with power, okay, so that he's part of this group, so, if she decide to file for, I'm like already putting words on her mouth, is she going to file for divorce in the next couple of years? I don't know guys okay so it just shows this is the uh, make upside down this is like the child this could be Trump but this could also be one of their you know their children um, this is the false of them is exposure of shady money okay and this is again another card that connects really well with this which is the enemy okay and so He's a fake person who presents himself as a friend. There's a lot of lies involved, and he'll be exposed as an enemy. The enemy is the court person, right? So he, in a way, you could suggest that this is where we kind of feel that way already, that he's not, this is not the place for him. The whole thing was stolen. The whole thing was shady, right? False it upside down. And that he's, he's a fake friend. And there is a lot. This could be Trump. There's a lot of money here involved. Trump and him. There's a lot of money being involved in, in him. Now, I don't know, guys, that this suggests that it's not telling me, honestly, about the force. You're just telling me about circumstances. Okay, so how how will how will Kev, how will Kavanaugh see the marriage? Now let's say how's that how does Ashley see the marriage within a year? Wow, this is interesting. So this is a young woman. This could be guys. That is a teenage card, teenage woman card. Okay, this is a shady information, unpleasant letter, and this is reunion. Look, this is a lovers meeting. So there is unpleasant information that she knows or comes out about yet or not something else that happened may have happened. Look, false person. So, wow, an ending. Yeah, he's he's not who he said he is. Yeah, I think this is her here. Okay. So, because of he, she realizes he's a fake person. This is an, a letter. It could be. It could be that she feels like it's time to end it. Okay, this could be a divorce. This, and there's the shady meetings may have affected how she sees sees things. Okay. How does Kavanaugh see the marriage within one year? Yeah, I kind of wonder, guys, if this is, yeah, this is just a helpful woman. This is a mistake, and this is the family, but upside down. So I feel like he may have made a mistake with the woman. And I wonder if this could be, you know, some extramarital affair or something. Oh, look, sad news, okay. Expectation, he ex there's expectation, sad news. And young woman. Yeah, so I feel like he's still living through... The mistakes he made 
right? And the young women, the stuff that happened to the teenagers. So, so yeah, it's still haunting his marriage, okay? So, so that's that, guys. Okay, I'm going to stop here. So, that was quite interesting about Ashley Kavanaugh and, his, and her relationship with her husband and why she acts so strange and public. Not strange, but, you know, uncomfortable. All right? Okay, bye.